to Carlton, Texas podcast. Today is January 14th. This is episode nine and happy new year. Yay. Oh, yes. I'm happy Carrie. Year. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Melissa. And we're podcasting in my house today. So all the, all the yarn and, <laughs> and funness around us. So um, we tried to podcast the other day and then we had the great blizzard of 2021 for South Texas. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we had two inches of snow. <laughs> yeah, all you northerners will laugh at us, but yeah. that's okay. When we get just like the tiniest bit of snow, it's like shut down. So and every, everybody builds tiny little snowmen everywhere <laughs> <laughs> with grass sticking out of them. Yeah, I didn't get any snow in in where I live, but. Both Elizabeth and Melissa are just a little bit north of me, yeah. so, um, so I was surprised we got a couple inches, probably probably close to three inches where I'm at, and um, usually we get it and then it melts that within hours or whatever. But it actually, I woke up the next day and there was still snow on the ground. That's pretty cool. I know. I was like, whoa, this is like really wintry, uh -huh. and um, it was kind of kind of cool. Kind of cool like, because yeah. we never get really wintry. That like doesn't happen here. Yeah. So no. yeah. yeah, not at all. But then I think by that next day, probably by noon, it was gone. Sure. But, sure. You know, yeah. 24 hours. We've still kind of woken up and having frost on our roofs yeah. and stuff like that. It's I've been cold. starting my car early before I before I leave in the morning just to get all that frost to defrost. <laughs> okay, I'm a big, I'm a big baby. Funny. Yeah, I'm a big <laughs> baby when Texas it comes to cold. Girls. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't live. I, I have a friend in Canada. Hi, Paulette. I have a friend in Canada, and she just laughs at us when we have like this stuff. And I'm like, you don't understand. I didn't learn how to drive in this. Like when yeah. I went to driving school, they didn't teach me how to drive in the snow. So yeah, when there's just like a little bit of snow or ice on the ground, I'm like, I'm staying home. So whatever. Well, I was driving because I actually did come to San Antonio last week because I came early to meet up with a friend, and um, then we canceled it. So I just draw. I thought that's fine. I'll get home earlier because it was supposed to get worse. It was late supposed to afternoon. get worse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> my I called to tell my mom. She's like, "Well, be careful." And I'm like, "I've lived my whole life driving in snow and ice, so it's not a huge deal." For not me, for but, you, but, <laughs> but I've, I've it's never everyone done else. It. Yeah. <laughs> the roads. The roads yeah. aren't meant to be ice. Yeah. And yeah. We don't have salt. We don't anything. have it, and we don't mm -hmm. have you know the yeah, right the conditioning. Tires, or, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nor the knowledge. Honestly, I wouldn't have a clue what to do if I slipped in ice. Yeah. Plus, just, we have a lot of oil that's um, ingrained into our um, asphalt mm -hmm. from the trucks and that, and the way they treat the roads down here for the heat. And so then that compounds the icing and oh, okay. it so makes yeah, it even slicker. Clue. Yep. Yeah. I just mm -hmm. stay home. So just stay home. Yeah. <laughs> that's my that's my mantra. Oh look, I gotta stay home today. <laughs> Shucks. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, funny. Okay, so, so uh, what are we wearing? Do you want to go first? Oh, I'm wearing my Elton. It's beautiful. Which is um, like a plum color. I think the color is purple velvet from um, Sweet Sparrow Yarns. And, um, Very pretty. She's mm -hmm. an indie dyer out of New Jersey, I think, New York, New Jersey area. And um, yeah. It fits nice. you really well. Thank you. It sure does. I think I made, I don't know if I made the small or the medium. I can't remember. It's all in my project notes. Huh. I'm wearing um, Torbellino. It's made out of Knit Pick Swish. I know you can't see it. At least it doesn't look like you can see it based on the iPad. But there's like little dots of slip stitches of this khaki color kind of just in the yoke part. But just tiny little dots going down. But mm -hmm. that and then it's got a little bit of... Like someone wanting to get into color work. More yeah, so uh, maybe just a touch. I know it's kind of blown out in the in the video, but it does have a little bit, just a touch of color work up here. Mm -hmm. So, and it's all nitpicks, um, swish. Nice. And look at your this beautiful. Is also <laughs> an fo. This is my slip extravaganza. Yes. Yep. Look how big it is. It looks amazing. That is incredible. I ended up. Mixing, not reading the directions fully and mixing up my colors down here, so I ended up shorting the large. I made a medium size. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty close you to large. It's like five yeah, and a half easy. repeats you instead, of six. Even. instead of six. Yeah, you can't even tell. It my, still looks amazing. I'm very happy it's done. Yeah. It smells amazing, too. <laughs> Smell That's one of those. It was a lot of fun to knit, but by the time you were to the end, <laughs> you, you the wanted end. to be done. <laughs> yeah, it's like no a slinket. Nine hundred and some stitches. Yeah, like, it was. Oh, yeah. That's like 
It's murder. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard. Murder. It's almost to the point where it's you kind of don't know how to wear it. Okay. And to it's show but it, it looks like, really all nice. All the layers. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does look really nice. It's very cozy. Yes. I'm happy with it. And your mom finished hers too, right? She did, yeah. It turned out really pretty. Oh, that's mm -hmm. awesome. That's good. That's yeah. Awesome. Good. Because, like, when you finish a big project, it kind of feels like, oh, yeah. it's over. Yeah. I can, like, go on with my knitting life. <laughs> <laughs> that's a perfect explanation. <laughs> my knitting life has been all over the board. I've been just, like, so distracted by everything. The only thing I've been able to concentrate on are socks. For some reason, I tried to start a sweater and made a little bit of progress, but then I'd be looking at my sock on the table, and then <laughs> it's just like, and then I'd see some new thing on Instagram. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. I have to dial myself in this year. I I'm to, just too distracted. I have to dial myself in all the time. I don't, I don't know what the joke is or whatever, but like you have like this. I feel like this is me with my name, but you have like a dog that's like, you yeah. know, paying attention, paying attention. Oh, look, squirrel! Tree, oh, look, squirrel! <laughs> tree, <laughs> squirrel! <laughs> tree. <laughs> All my knitting is like, squirrel, tree, bunny. I mean, I'm just like, I, I tell myself one minute, I'm going to do this and only this. And then, fuck, squirrel. It's just, I'm like manic. It's crazy. I'm not typically like that, but towards last year, I was like that. And going into this year, I am too. And I'm like, ah, uh, no, I got to be productive. Because it gets, I don't know, I've gotten to the point it where it's depressing. Too, depressing. And it's like too mm -hmm. much chaos. And there's it's, too much chaos in the world right now. I can't have chaos to find chaos. I completely, you know? but like, see, I've oh. been like this my whole knitting life. So like, which is only like 10 years. <laughs> you so, know I have so. I, Yeah. So like I get in this cycle and I do really good for a few months. And then I'm like, look, squirrel. And I just, <laughs> I just, I go crazy. I don't, I don't know how to just, I do, I put it on my, upon myself. So yeah. it's like nobody else's fault, but my own, but I just like, Put so much on myself. And I, I like looked in my Ravelry and I looked at all the patterns that I've purchased and I'm like, how many of them have, have I made? Such a small percentage, and I'm like, that's really sad because they're beautiful. They designs. are beautiful, but I can't knit as fast as these designers no, kick out these I patterns. Either. I can't either. You know, if there was just maybe one designer in the world, then maybe <laughs> I could keep up. But there's only one me and yeah. like. A, so many beautiful designers and yeah. I'm just like I can't I just can't keep up so I'm, I'm trying to limit my time on Insta Instagram seems to be the place that gets me for wanting to make all the things so I'm trying to limit my time on Instagram mm -hmm. and my exposure because I don't have very much willpower as you've seen by my yeah. acquisitions and I so. think I think even before COVID I wasn't very big on Instagram because that's the thing that get like it's I trigger, really right? I really tried hard with my yarn diet last year I mean you if you awesome. could if you could see the entirety of this room like that closet I know you guys are seeing this small picture but there is yarn everywhere in this room on, it just keeps and going and, go, and project bags and I mean everything so Last year, I think, was the year, even prior to March, you know, when I really tried to rein things in and I, th and I told myself, I just can't get on Instagram because it's Instagram that's going to make me go bankrupt, yep. you know? I just, <laughs> I'd get on there and I'd be like, oh, oh, look, that 20 bucks isn't going to kill me. Yeah. But when I do it 10 times in the same week, I'm like, oh my God, I spent $200, you know? Well, then, he, then do you stand and sometimes I'll go in my yarn closet and I'll look around and I'm like, oh, I feel so sad I haven't used this beautiful yarn. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So now I'm trying to use more things. And and then I have things that I'm like, oh, I would never make socks out of that because it's too pretty. But now I'm like, well, at least it would be getting used, used. if it was socks. Mm -hmm. And I love my mm -hmm. socks, so why not make socks? Exactly, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's just one of those mm -hmm. endless cycles. Yeah. Well. Struggles. Struggles of a knitter. Yeah, the struggles <laughs> of a knitter. Like, those are the only struggles we have. I guess we're doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, okay, we have a hat, Cal. Uh, we yes. need to pick a winner. My phone's mm -hmm. off, so who wants to... We've got one through 15. You want to ask her? Him. Him? It's a him. Sorry. <laughs> you want to ask him? Hey, Siri, pick a number between 1 and 15. A random number between 1 and 15 is 15. <gasps> Woo! Jennifer! 15! Jennifer! Jen loves yarn. Jen loves yarn. My little list here. So, congratulations, Jennifer. Contact any of us. I mean, we know where you live, <laughs> so. This is what you won. Look. Suburban Stitcher and the what? Um, what is this? Beeswax? Um, yeah, like it's hand, hand, hand bomb. Hand bomb. I love that stuff. Totally I love this stuff too. So. Audrey had it might not make it in your package. <laughs> Audrey you had, had it some. before. I still have some. So. <laughs> Audrey had some eczema like 
skin problems, mm -hmm. and it was kind of bubbling up right here a little bit. Oh, so I made her put some of your stuff on it, and, and it, it like calmed it. It does help. Oh, good. It does. Yeah, it helps good. a lot because I get it every here on my elbow. I get it on the mm -hmm. other side of my elbow. Good. So, congratulations. Hey, congrats. Yay, congrats, Jennifer. Great. Jennifer, study. We love you. Yes, <laughs> we do. Okay, FOs. Who wants to go first? I am wearing mine. You are wearing yours. Um, but I did manage to actually finish something of my advents. <laughs> it's beautiful. It is so pretty. It is very pretty. It looks like, like unicorn right? poop. <laughs> I think it looks amazing. <clears throat> what are you going to do with it? Do I you know? probably had. I only got mm. about 200 yards. It feels really soft. Is it a worsted or decay? I think it's about a worsted. Okay. It looks really, it looks a little like worsted, worsted mm -hmm. to me. Yeah, it so I'll probably do a hat out of this. It's so cute. It feels good too. I think so. Yeah. It'll look good on you as a hat. It's super cute. Yeah, I mean I kinda have a hoe. I have one sock done. Cute. Mm. I love your look at that. Nice little cable. This is the yeah, Savvy Skeins, her club colorway in the I think it was the Gizmo color. Let me look really quick. Yeah, I think it was Gizmo. And this isn't this called like latte socks or ca coffee socks or coffee Those top? Uh, the Zig Ziglar socks. Oh, the Zig Ziglar. Um, sorry. The Gizmo from the club colorway, and then this is. Oh look, they have looks great. I'm almost done with the leg on this one. Cute. Very cute. Yeah. Looks great. It's been interesting because the one I started on nine inch circulars, so I think it kind of changed my gauge a little went, bit. Uh -huh. mine so as well. this one is almost stripey, kind of. So that's and blue? This, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like how the pulling is different then, though. Yeah. I like it. And I mean, if I had a bigger project, I probably wouldn't have done this, but. I just like Magic Loop a little bit better than Nine Inch Circular. I do it too. reminds me of a cow. <laughs> it's a, or s'mores. Oh, yeah. oh s'mores? that's yeah. 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 I'm like, these are my cow s'more socks. <laughs> cow s'more sock. <laughs> the things we think of. Yeah, but they've been fun for picking up kids in the carpool lane. Um, I've also used, I have the pattern on my phone, so reading it off my phone gets a little confusing. So I started with a little row counter. I have some of those. I love them. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that row counter before. I, I think I got that? it on Amazon. I, I actually bought it from when I was bus driving because you had to count the kids oh. as they come on. Mm -hmm. So it's I know kind of people good. that have used it like in construction. Let's say like you're a construction manager and you've got to go through and you've got to count mm -hmm. all the electrical outlets that you need like a plate for. So they'll go yep. through and like you go count the light bulbs and you go count the electrical lightlets and you yeah. go count like the plumbing or you know, whatever. So um, it just does, you know, kind of anything to count. So mm -hmm. <laughs> um, do you want to show some of your FOs? I have I have one in person to show and then I have two that I have pictures to put up. I would have had my weekend bird on. I had like oh, this much left of the last right. sleeve, and then I ran out of yarn. She did. <laughs> so she had to break her yarn diet, diet like, like on the third day of January. <laughs> January third, she had to break her yarn diet to buy more yarn to finish her weekend. I, I think it was planned. <laughs> <laughs> and then I might have added some. So one of our might like, have added something to get free shipping. <laughs> no, I didn't even hit free shipping. So. <laughs> I also ordered, because I ordered some Rios to make my nephew, who is almost one. So uh, there is no again. yarn diet for you. <laughs> I love Rios. But she was, then I figured he's like going to be a toddler. Why would I use this nice expensive yarn when it's going to be tossed in the wash? So I ordered some vintage to make him one instead. Oh my goodness. I love both those yarns. <laughs> both vintage yeah, and Rios. So yeah. I lost. It's okay. It's okay. She, she's she's still, you're still a winner over. in our eyes. Okay. <laughs> she's like, I broke my yarn diet already, but it was necessary. You could probably break yours. I'm like, what kind of friend are you? <laughs> Don't be using me to absolve your sins. <laughs> Not going to happen. <sighs> anyway, okay. So here's my hat. One of my hats. I've made, I actually finished two hats. Um, I will give you a picture of the other one because I made it and Andrew gave it to my yeah gave it to my neighbor um, right before Christmas. So this is another one of the Chelsea um, and Paris Chelsea and Paris berets and it's in suburban stitcher. The colorway is Swamp and I used a skein of her slub base along with the Surrey alpaca, and then I added this little loop de doo. I think it's um, oh, that'll be fun for like hanging it. 
Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I never thought of that. <laughs> I usually just flop it down. But. You know, like with the keys to your car. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, super soft. I love it. I had made a turquoise one you guys have seen. Mm -hmm. So that. And then she's got a deck of socks <laughs> over here. Not a deck of cards, I'm but a deck of socks. I'm the feet off of you. <laughs> So this was a two by cranked. I think I showed this right before Christmas. Um, it's um, West Yorkshire Spinners. Um, it's one of their Christmas colorways, and I just put the afterthought heel in. And it looks great. Mm -hmm. So that's one. And this, I think I showed the skein of yarn in I my just acquisitions. Uh, this is Northwood, Northwood's Fibers in the Farmhouse Christmas colorway. I just love that she found a perfect I had tone. this in my stash, which was, yeah, it matched this stripe perfectly, so. And all I of mean, these, the luck. It was I just, actually I mean, made two pair of each of these because I can get a sock out of 50 grams for myself and then I make my mom a pair too. My, <laughs> I just put them down in her place where she eats every day. She's like, are those for me? Every, every time I finish a pair of socks, I'm like, yeah. And then this, this is the um, Texas bling, right? Yeah, I can't remember the Zorn. Dog. Zorn. Zorn. Zorn yarn. Yeah, I showed this through. Local. Texas bling. Love And this the bling. was an Anzula scrap that I had. It's also sparkly, so you can see the sparkle a little bit. But those I really like. The bling is great. And these, I haven't blocked them yet. I just finished them yesterday. But these were a Koigu sock yarn. And then this um, was from Chelsea Lux yarn. It was from my advent from last year, so I used the mini skein for that, and that sparkly. This is not. But it looks good. Mm -hmm. <coughs> You're gonna have the warmest feet ever. I know. <laughs> and this. Oh, I like the way you did the top. Okay, so I want to talk about that. So, well, let me show you first. Okay, so this is the um, Suburban Stitcher colorway I showed. I can't remember the name of it. Mm. It's a Christmas colorway. It's like right? one of her Christmas colorways, and it oh, for the, it. I'll it's put it in the show yeah. notes. Mm -hmm. It's in the project page. Anyway, um, so this top, I did the crank the tube on my on my circular sock machine. And then you folded it down? So this is called a hung hem. Because I thought, oh, that really saves you time if you do that on the machine. But I never really liked the look of it that much. Because I didn't think it would, stay I didn't up. think it would stay up. That was my concern. So then I thought, well, I'm just going to try it. Because there's so much sock yarn that I want to make tubes out of and it really would save me especially because I'm making four socks out of every skein. Skin. It really would save me some time so I did it and it actually it stays up perfectly. Does oh, it? Yeah. That's so great. So if you guys ever want to try a pair uh -huh. like that mm -hmm. I can do it for you. Um, yeah. So anyway. Maybe I should send her home with some sock yarn today. <laughs> and then this was another tube that I had cranked a while ago. This is from uh, Madeline Tosh in the color Magic which was from a Stephen and Stephen um, event that we had. I love to the, the years ago. I love the pop of pink you put in everywhere. So I don't know why I did that. I just had this bright neon pink, and I was like, "Oh, it'd be too much if I do it all." So I'm like, "I'm just gonna do the tip for the heel and the toe, and then the tip on the cuff." So Cute. That's what I did. I love it. I think it looks great. So well, those are all my socks. Lots of them. Yay. <laughs> So I finished a few things. I finished an Advent stole I test knitted. So I'll have Audrey insert a picture here. Um, I give it to Darlene every year. I test knit for a lady named Bridget in the Netherlands mm. for her Advent stole. I think it's her, I think it was her fourth or fifth year doing it. Mm. And um, I always give it to Darlene. So Audrey will insert a picture. And then I also finished her boxy cape. And of course I've already gifted it to Darlene for Christmas. Yeah. So um, I have a picture of that to insert. And the stole was... It was beaded, right? It's, it yes, beads? Uh -huh. it Lazy has beads. beads. It has a yeah. bead pico cast on and a bead pico bind off. You you can do it with or without yeah. beads, and then it's twelve clues. So you get a clue every like first, third, fifth, seventh, every other day. Okay. Um, and then you technically you finish like on the twenty third. She usually will give you the so you finish in December, and nice. um, there's twelve clues. So. Um, and then in between every clue, there's like a little section of yarn overs and a bead. Yarn overs and a bead. She calls it an interlude. It's real pretty. Very, it's a beautiful shawl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very. And I did it in a lace weight, so in that Joshua Tree lace weight so from Madeline Taj. So, and then the other um, finished object I have is here, Trevor's favorite blanket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's finally finished. It looks wow. so have you got cute. your new yarn in? I do. I have it for a stash enhancement for. 
for January already. That's so so it's a nice little lap size. It's not it's not a huge blanket, mm -hmm. but it's Aran weight yarn and it's a nice little, you know, lap size blanket when I'm sitting in my recliner and just yeah. need a little, a little need cozy. something light and um, it's you know, I really enjoy doing it. It's so. so cute. I mean, I enjoyed it so much that I signed up again to do another one this yeah, year. Nice. I so. like the I-cord. Yeah, it's got an I-cord edge on both sides. I love I-cord edge. I think it really gives yeah. a nice finish to things. Yeah. And, so. and a little bit of structure. Right? It does. It looks really nice. So, anyway. I've been using it. I hope it doesn't stink. Mm-mm. No, it's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a dark. <laughs> and so since that's like can I go into I just want to show everybody this since it's already the like it but I'm jumping ahead but this is this is January's Aww. color for this stained glass it's a throw called stained so glass pretty. this it's is the crochet pretty. version right here and this is the knit version so it's that deep I think it's this that I'm starting with this little mm. inside and then they sent like a little stitch marker that's like a, a stained glass oh cute Oh, pretty. So I think every yeah. month they'll give like another little, another little stitch marker. So that's that's the next one. That's really cute. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so um, I jumped to stash enhancements, but we can go to whips. Sorry, that's we're going to order. <laughs> no, as if it matters. <laughs> no, it doesn't. We're so structured. <laughs> no, we're so on it. Um, we Elizabeth and I got a text message from Allie. From oh, games. Yes. And she's like, can you guys finish up some projects for me? <laughs> um, I haven't like, started mine yet. Yeah, but she already started it for I know, you. mine came pre-started. <laughs> <laughs> I just got it this week, so I haven't had a chance yet. Um, so she's, she wanted me to make the color Courage, and I saw on Instagram that she already made one for a booth sample, so I'm oh. kind of wondering, like, okay. <laughs> Anyways. Um, it's from Lakeside Yarns, and I'm kind of excited because this is kind of in my old area of Minnesota. Oh. It's in Excelsior, Minnesota, and we used to we kind of lived here and there all over Minnesota. Minnesota. Sure. Um, but So it's kind of a simple little crescent shawl. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It uses two skeins, and I'm not even 100% sure what color this one is or the colors that I'm using because I didn't get ball bands with them. <laughs> but I think it's actually oh. the colors Oh, it looks like she's using in the pattern. Yeah. I love this sea turtle um got that stitch marker. And I think yeah, I got one of, I think I got that in one of those stitch marker exchanges. It's super cute, but I love sea turtles so um, these colors are pretty. They are pretty. Mm -hmm. It's been really nice. I've been kind of setting a timer every day and working on it for a half hour a day hmm. just to kind of keep myself focused. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's a good idea. I think the crazy sock lady does that. Oh, That's she does. That's why I yeah. started because it's kind of, I think it's a good idea just to kind of give yourself goals. Sure. I probably knit way more than that. But, um, and then this was in my Mrs. Brown's bag. Um, I believe she just launched her own website. Because she was at El uh, Etsy, Etsy before, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And I just grabbed it because she said something about it being faster. She was going to up the shipping to DHL or something, and I got it really fast. Mm -hmm. I think DHL does ship mm -hmm. quickly. Yeah, they're amazing. And then this pattern's pretty simple, so if you wanted to get more into, like, you're a beginner knitter and you want to get more into something a little bit that's more concentrated. Um, it's only three sections and it's pretty good. I would recommend it. Um, I did look at my stash and found colors to make my own. <laughs> I also picked this up at Walmart and oh. so because all of my um, clickers are in other projects. <laughs> Counters? Yeah. So I kind of just like write little checks and little notes and I can kind of just flip it or whatever. Oh, that's nice. kind of cute. And, and it has like a little marker attached. A little attached. sharpie. Yeah. That's really so cute. So I've been using that <clears throat> to kind of keep track and make sure. Because you do have to, when you hit those yarn over rows, you have to have it match Pay your attention. stitch count. So I've been trying to stay on top of that. <laughs> <laughs> One and of those then, thinking patterns. Yeah. And then oh, you guys have seen my sock whip. So those are the two main ones I've been working on and I would love to have my weekender finished. 
Waiting on yarn. Yeah, waiting on that yarn. Waiting on that yarn. Oh wow. We've had cold weather too, so I really wanted to wear it. Okay. So I have I have a few whips. This is Darlene's birthday present. Darlene has a birthday right after Christmas, so it's like a good friend. Knitting for your friend all the time. Darlene, you're so lucky. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the color's a little blown out, but um, it's, it's like called, a celery green. It, yeah, it's, it's called really kiwi, but it's very pretty. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. I I've made this exact sweater for myself, so and I've worn it. And I'm going it back a nice. little bit. You can. Oh no, it got worse. You yeah. hit it one time. Mm, I don't know. It was like one moment where it maybe right there, right like way down yeah. here, like without yeah. the light hitting it. It's a little more true. But, it's like um, a spring, yeah, spring or celery. Color. I've mentioned this before on my weekender, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is my knitting back and forth, knit one row, purl one row, and then when I get right about here is when it hits in the rounds. Mm -hmm. Can you see that difference? My yeah. gauge is so different so weird in between me. the two. And you can really see it on the purl side. That's where it's the worst. I first noticed it. Do you see? Do you see yeah. that difference on the pearl side? It's yeah. like there's, it's the lights too blown out. Maybe if I go closer. Oh, there you go. Okay, so here, all the way to about right here, you can see that I'm knitting back and forth, back and forth, and then right about where that line ends, that's when I start to go to it in the round. almost looks like a different stitch. <laughs> it, it does. And on my weekender, because the weekender is the pearl side is the right side, you knit it in the round, but then once you get to the underarms, you, you have you to turn it. it inside out, and then you start knitting back and forth. So on my weekender, when I wear my weekender, it literally looks like t from here down and here up looks like two different stitches. It's it really. It, I mean, I, I should think of it more often and maybe change my needle size, but... Um, but I didn't think of it. And so that's that's Darlene's birthday present. Very nice. So and her birthday's next Friday, so I guess I better Ooh, get with it. Get going. Yeah. <laughs> I better get with it. And what pattern was that again? It yeah. is a uh, Hohi Locatelli. Um, the easy one. Hmm. I think it's called the easy one. Is it worsted? It's bulky. 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 I don't have the name of it, but I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure it's called one. the easy one. Yeah, it's called the easy one bulky. I'm pretty yeah. sure. So, um, and then she's crawling under the table. I am crawling under the table. Sorry, I have an author friend I think I've mentioned before, and she tagged me on Facebook several months ago, and I think I mentioned this in a podcast before. Ooh. But she wanted one of those perfect wraps, the perfect pocket wrap. So, I've been working on this for her. It's not quite done, and I I went back to, I had to go to Hobby Lobby and get more yarn because I was running out. But this is also bulky, and this is crocheted. So, and then I'll have like, I started a pocket already, one pocket side. The pocket. Oh, so you do the pocket separate. You do the pocket separate and seam it on. Yeah. Very nice. And then add some fringe and stuff. Mm -hmm. So. A lot of people have been making this one. It's yeah, popular. it's on Facebook, and it's like kind of getting, you know, somebody posted a picture, and it's kind of getting circulated, and and that's kind of how I got tagged into this anyway. Uh, another mutual friend of ours that reads my author friend's book said, hey, if anybody knows how to do this and wants to make me one, um, you know, feel free or whatever. <laughs> and, and then Maggie goes, that's really cool. And I said, if you want me to make you one, um, I will. And then do you remember how I was telling you earlier that I'm like, Look, squirrel. <laughs> That's what this project Those is. Those are penguins, not squirrels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got an email. I should never read my email. I got an email from <laughs> Knit Pro. I've never used Knit Pro needles. But it's a needle company. I got an email from Knit Pro. And they were having a cow called Winterberry Shawl. And the first person to finish, which was not me. Somebody has already finished would win a free set of needles. Oh, wow. Wow. So I thought, let me give it a shot. Like, let me just try. Not, I'm not a very good lace knitter. Like, mm -hmm. lace is not my is not my forte. So, but I thought, let me give it a shot. So, and then the stitch count was off. Oh. A lot of people don't knit from the written instructions. They knit from the charts. 
I'm weird, and I knit from the written instructions. I do too. And so the written instructions had these row counts at the end of the first section of lace, and I was off. And I kept tinking it and re-knitting it and tinking it and re-knitting it. And then I was like, I don't think it's me. I think it's the pattern. And um, so then I asked a question, and then it took them forever to answer. And um, and they find at first they kept saying no, the pattern's right. And then they realized that I was looking at the written instructions. Oh. They were like, I've looked at the chart three times. I'm like, I'm not knitting from the chart. I'm knitting from the written instructions. Mm -hmm. And they're like, Oh, you're right. The stitch count is off. And I'm like, Oh no, that's what I was trying to tell you. <laughs> so um, anyway, and the color is so, pretty. Thank you. This is my leftover yarn from the. Um, slip stravaganza oh, and, yeah. and and I went and I picked up one more because it, it takes about 700 yards so I figured I wouldn't mm. need that much so mm -hmm. I used the leftover from that aged this is called aged gold in that Hobby Lobby yarn, yarn bee, bee. Mm -hmm. the yarn bee authentic hand dyed it's a really pretty color uh -huh. mm -hmm. so. my mom used that color as well on hers. <clears throat> very neutral so it's about halfway done I still have I still have quite a bit of lace but I don't know Lace is slow going for me. So anyway, that was a little look squirrel penguin sign distraction. <laughs> Just because. And those are all mine. I only have one thing because of my socks, so I just keep cranking them out. So um, I have a love note sweater that I started about a week ago. Oh, it's I've been beautiful. tempted to start mine. This is my second one. I've made <clears throat> another one. So this. Let's see. You actually start, this is the top, believe it or not, you actually do a provisional cast on, so that's what this ugly yellow yarn is. It's for my provisional cast on. Thank you. And um, it's got, um, it's, you use a strand of fingering and a strand of mohair, and then there's um, that lace panel on the yoke. You're supposed to do two repeats of the lace, which I did on the first one that I made, but on this one I only wanted, I wanted less lace on it. Um, just because I want to wear it for work and I just didn't want to have to worry so much about what color shirt I have underneath it. You know what I mean? Sure. So, I don't know. I just only wanted one repeat of the lace, so that's what I did. It and looks great. Now I'm to the point where it I'm doing the rag one and I have to, um, it feels really good. Do, uh, split my, for my sleeves pretty soon. And it's from, um, oh, it's Julie Aslan. Um, in her fino and then her mohair base, and I forget what the color way is. It's beautiful. I have the tag. In, oh, the tag's probably in my other bag. I want to say it's like rose gold or something. It looks like a rose yeah. gold. It's probably in your project. It is in my project notes. So we'll not we'll so. link that. And th this pattern is really it's kind of a loose, like a boxy type sweater. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of cropped. I might make this one a little bit longer because than my last one because I do have enough yarn, and. Um, and I just might make it a little bit longer because I want to wear it for work and stuff. Um, but la the last, the first one I did, I think I knit it in five days. It's so quick. Really? Because it's a ten size ten needle, US ten. Wow. And um, yeah, it's super super quick pattern. I just put it down for start. I mean, I did all that in like two days. Wow. That, and then, that is fast. Yeah, and then um, I put it down because I'm working on socks. So. Sure. <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Um, does anybody have stash enhancements, Elizabeth? I do, and this was not purchases from this year. Oh, they're all last year. This was purchases I made on Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas to me. Merry Christmas to me, exactly. So I got, well, I got this for Christmas. This is um, from Hohe and Co. It's the interchangeable needle case in their um, rose gold color. It's really pretty. It's beautiful. Very shiny. And Very shiny with the zipper. Nice. I haven't filled it up yet. I have um, a set of die craft needles. I think I'm gonna put in there. It's perfect. So my parents got me that for Christmas. Very sweet of them. You were good this year. I was you good were. girl. Very good girl. I had to self shop, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> um, anyways, then on Christmas Day, I Miss Babs had a sale, like, and she I usually it every year. Yeah, and I usually forget until it's like the second or third day of the sale and, and then everything's not, gone. yeah everything's gone so this year on christmas we had a quiet christmas and i was like okay i'm jumping on and getting some stuff so i got this in the katadin um base base and it's uh fingering and it's um 100 super wash blue face like blue face lister wool and the i forget what the color is obsidian 
which is like a black, charcoaly gray black color. And I got a couple, I think I got two skeins of that. Ooh, that's a hefty one. <laughs> yeah. And then I, um, Killington. I bought, a, yeah, a thing of Killington in the DK and I just got the naked because I kind of want just like a whitish, you know, like an ivory colored sweater. Or so that maybe I can mix it with something else. I, I don't know. There's if a I ton, go close enough, it doesn't get, blow out quite as is bad. Is it like 600 yards or something on it there? Must it's, be. it's a lot of yards. 700. 700, yeah. Uh -huh. So it's 85% Polworth wool and 15% nice. Tulsa. It's silk. really, it's Tulsa really nice. Silk. So that'll be a sweater of some sort. Um, then this one. Oh my goodness. Is gigundous. Is that a word? It's my oh word. Man. Humongous, gigundous. I don't know. It's 11 a, billion a yards. <laughs> yeah. I caded in in, the, in a fingering base in blue face, Leic is it Leicester? Is that how you pronounce it? You say well, BFL. BFL. <laughs> BFL. Oh, BFL. <laughs> Oh yeah, BFL. Oh, BFL. BFL. Uh -huh. I always think Buffalo then. It's <laughs> Buffalo. <laughs> it's a mile of Buffalo. yarn here, like yeah. 1,750 yards. Yeah, it's really close to a mile. And this it's color, gorgeous. this colorway is called Sugar, and it's a very, very pale pink. It's very pretty. It's but a little it's blown like a, out. On yeah, the, but it's coming off more blue. It's actually the kind of a warm tone. Pink. It's very pretty. Beautiful. So that will become some sort of a sweater at some point. I it's may gorgeous. mix it with mohair. I don't know. But I loved it. And then the other one, which I'm normally not a blue person, but I liked this blue. It's called Faded. And this is 700 yards in the Killington uh, base, which That's is DK. The, yeah. And it's called Faded. It's supposed to be like faded blue jean color. It is faded. And again, this is a little blown out, but it's very, this is showing a little bit more purplish, but it's really a lot more blue. Yeah. Like a, just like she said, a baby blue faded jeans. Yeah. So anyway that um the other thing i got was a gift which i just thought was so adorable i wanted to show it because my girlfriend from michigan sent this to me and she is not a knitter but she <gasps> found this tea towel oh my god which oh, i just think so it is perfect. fabulous and i actually want to frame it i don't well, want then to use it i want to frame it, it. i frame just think it. it's it so would look great pretty frame. It's from or put Ulster. it over a canvas or something Ulster Weavers Timeless Textiles and Homeware. Yeah. Cotton tea towel. Keep knitting. I just think it is so cute. Very cute. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to show You should. You should show that. Yeah. Frame it and put it in your room. In my craft room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. So. Anyway. Maybe you can make a pillow. Is it too big for a throw pillow? Oh. I could do a pillow too. It's but then the dogs pillow. might use it. <laughs> my dogs <laughs> use all my pillows. My dogs use all my they think too. the pills are for them. <laughs> so do my dogs. So do my dogs. So anyway, so that's that's all my enhancements. So yarn diet Melissa, breaker. What you got, Melissa? Who's I not on you. a yarn diet I have, anymore? No, I have the I least amount good. out of any of them. I want to be good. Um, my mom got me this book. It's called Knit Happy with Self Stripping Yarn by Stephanie um, Tilly B Knit. So cute. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to make... The whole book just makes you happy. It does. Because mm -hmm. of the colors and it's just a happy book. I think she's going to make these gloves. I'm going to make these for my husband. Uh, my mom and I did a knit picks order before the first. <laughs> sure. So I thought I'd make those for my husband. Felici worsted in the beyond the wall colorway. And then I thought I'd make myself a pair. And this is also Felici Rustic, mm -hmm. Rustic Cabin. I have this skein. I have one like it, or two, maybe. And then my mom was looking through it as well. And it's a very well-written book. It has tips and techniques in there with the patterns. It's separated in different categories. Like you have hat section, sweater section. You have um, um, just, it's very well put together. They're gonna make this together. Mm -hmm. So my mom bought yarn and I bought yarn to make that. So this will be mine. And then my mom got another gray with it's gonna be so cute. a rainbow color. Aww. This looks great. There is this one that I would love to make as well. 
Whew, look at that. Mm. Look at all that color work. That would be amazing. Mm -hmm. Super cute. And then she has patterns for all sizes, which is great. Um, I thought about making a hat for my nephew. Oh, this other one. This is the squirrel syndrome. Wait, wait! Look, <laughs> squirrel! Squirrel! <laughs> Penguin! Over there! Is it this one? She has this rainbow blowout cowl, which I think is would be really fun to knit, and you just use leftover sock yarn. Cute. Like all the texture in there and stuff. Yeah, it looks like a whole bunch of different styles of mm -hmm. stitches. I think that would be a lot of fun to make. And then... It's a really nice book, mm -hmm. and I liked it because I got it as well, and I liked it um, because it's different, something different, right? I thought about making this one for my nephew. Um, it's double layered, and they're from Minnesota, so I figured this one would be pretty warm for him, but I haven't done it yet. <laughs> but I don't know if I will do it because I can't buy yarn because I'm trying to be good. <laughs> I'm sure you have yarn. I'm sure you do too. I don't. <laughs> But it's neat that it's double two layers and you put them together with a little, like a little tassel on there. Sorry, I keep on making you. No, you're good. And everything has nice pictures. It's a very well written book. Mm -hmm. It is. I could see myself making, like everything is pretty classic looking. So mm -hmm. I feel like everything would be well worn sure. throughout time. And you can really change the look of things by the different. By mm -hmm. the colors that you choose. This to. one was really cute as well. These little mittens. So, another fun one to make. Think what else? But yeah, like just her construction of things. Like who would have done a pair of mittens going sideways like that? Oh my goodness, yep. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. So if you have too much self-striping yarn, yeah, and you I don't recommend know what to do with it. Is there such a thing as too much? Is there such a thing as too much yarn? Oh, period? and also, oh, well, yeah, clearly there is. <laughs> she did another. Her, she's the one who did the sock arm sweater, and um, she did a, it's a sporter DK weight version in a cardigan, and I'm kind of loving it. <laughs> the sport weight. She made a sport mm. weight one in cardigan form. Oh yeah, that looks great. Mm -hmm. I watched, uh, listened to another podcast who was interviewing her and it's interesting because she, her and her family travel a lot so it's interesting to see where her travel oh, it takes her. her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and helps her, inspires her mm -hmm. for her different things. And she says she really loves ripping things out. Like knitting it, and then if it's wrong, she just rips it up. She just really, yeah, like yeah, she thinks I don't it's want to enjoy that. I hate doing that. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm like, no, just make it work. Uh, I also grabbed the Fulici, um Gothic Kitty because I just really liked this it. This is a cute colorway. It's very cute. And I'm not sure what I'm going to make with that, but probably socks. <laughs> they make great socks. I'm just going to give it to Elizabeth because she can crank it. <laughs> I'm, I'm mad at my machine. I had a little, a little trouble with it. Um, week before last. It was operator error, I'm sure, I'm but sure. I had to take everything off of it twice, and after the second time, I'm like, that's it, you're done. You're, you, you, you are sitting, time out. Sitting for a while. Uh -huh. oh, I'm done. I forgot about this. So, I joined this um, Block of the Month Club. And quilting? It, yes, quilting. Quilting crafts! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, in Fat Quarter Shop, I bought it. Um, it's called Nebula. Um, this one is a little intimidating to me, <laughs> but yeah, the pattern is well written, so we have every block comes, like every month comes with like a little instruction booklet. Oh, That's nice. perfect. And then Fat Quarter sent us four months, and then my next shipment will be in April. So we shall see. I am very intimidated by this, so we shall see. So this Why one, are you intimidated by it? Is there um, a new technique? or? It's just everything is very like precise as far as your seam allowance goes and okay. cutting and everything being on the bias. And, oh, um, bias is mm -hmm. tough. Yeah. Um, this is block two. There's several colors in here. And it uses fat eights. And this isn't the most cheap kit. <laughs> it's kind of pricey. Yeah. 
and I think it'll turn out to be a queen set and it'll be on my guest bedroom. Oh wow. If I ever get it done. If I don't I think I'm gonna have to do like a practice block just to make sure everything lines up. That's right. a good idea, and then mm -hmm. that'll give you some confidence to Yep, and she has videos and everything on how um on how to do things and there's a Facebook group and everybody's been very nice and it's been good. And I'm just a little mm -hmm. intimidated <laughs> with it all. But. I'm sure you'll be fine and your mom yeah. could help you too. Yeah. Yeah. Is she and doing got, it as well? No. No. Okay. And you've got lots of sewing friends. I do. Yeah. yeah. So. Don't call me. Oh. No. <laughs> Don't call me. Okay. <laughs> I have one other stash enhancement and it's actually my birthday present from Darlene. Um, it's very early. So, but she wanted to get it for me. So, so it's really not breaking my yarn diet. Okay. So if we buy each other yarn, oh, yeah, it works. Ooh. This <laughs> is gifting each other. <laughs> yeah. This is Hedgehog Fibers in the Matchstick Colorway Sock Yarn. That color is so cute. Mm -hmm. I've made a hat with this in the Aran weight, and I really love the color. I have a few really favorites of of um, hedgehog colors so she got me this and then I'd like to make myself oh, gorgeous this granito sweater I have yarn for that too you want to make it with me look squirrel <laughs> <laughs> I think my yarn is black Ooh. there's some the but I thought pockets. that would be a great staple sweater right? it's either real dark charcoal or black Mantosh, I think. Um, one of these days. Just it's just, it's got pockets. It's just a real, super cute, really cute sweater. And it's very blockish. And you know, everybody knows I love not thinking when I knit and lots of garter, or so, or knitting in the round or what have you. So, mm -hmm. so anyway, that's it. That's all I have. We were talking about <clears throat> doing something for spring break, and my husband's like, let's go to Hawaii. <laughs> Oh, wow. Aloha. We don't travel that much. Like, the last time we went anywhere was to the Grand Canyon. And that was a couple of years ago. Um, so I'm, like, doing research about it. And then, like, the smart way to do it is to go on a cruise. So then you can hit all the islands. Mm -hmm. And then I looked it up, and nobody is... They're not, they're not cruising. cruising. Yeah. No. I do believe the cruises will start to open soon, but mm -hmm. I would April. not be surprised if they um, require a, a vaccination, yeah. mm -hmm. a proof of a vaccination. And then that. my husband's like, "Let's just fly there." And then we, I'm like, "You gotta, you gotta get tested before, and then, or you have to quarantine for ten days." So we'll be sitting there in Hawaii, just sitting in our room. <laughs> Yeah, 10 days. Yeah, that's a long trip. I don't know in COVID days if that's yeah, something that's, I would so do. Yeah, so it's not. We're rethinking. Yeah. If you guys have any ideas. Um, when is spring break? It's the March, March 13th. Mm. Um, we're thinking maybe doing Disney. But if you guys, we have older, so my son is 18 and my daughter is 14. So if you guys have any, I'm like, maybe we should do a staycation. I don't know. What about a, a, go to an all-inclusive, not like in Mexico? Maybe I don't know Mexico if we want it. We don't have passports. Oh, okay. So if anybody has any ideas for spring break, mm -hmm. that's safe. <laughs> I'm like, maybe we should... My kids were 9 and 11, and I took them to New Mexico, um, and we went to, like, a ski resort. We rented... This was before the Airbnb days, but we rented, like, a mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. My parents went. My sister went with oh, her fun. children. So, like, Sean and Grace were much younger, but my kids were 9 and 11. Um, I think Grace was five and Sean was like two or three and um, we got a house with like several bedrooms and we all met there and then, you know, it was kind of cool because, okay, so again, like the beginning of this podcast, we're talking about how we don't get snow. So my kids had <laughs> never seen snow. They were nine and 11 and they had never seen it. So, and they'd never been out of state. And um, so we, you know, went out of like New Mexico so far, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, we, we drove, it's like a nine and a half, 10 hour drive to, we went to Rio Doso. Rio de Janeiro, New Mexico, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, you know, just got like a ski resort, and then we, you know, took a car up to the top of the mountain and where there's a ski lodge, and like Eric wanted to snowboard, Paige and I went on the bunny hill, mm -hmm. the little, the mm -hmm. tiny, the tiny little hill, and <laughs> Eric went to some black something with my sister, because my sister and Jim, they like usually ski every year. So Eric went up there with them, and then me and Paige, we stayed down on the bottom. I was with Grace and Sean, you know, like hanging out. But I mean, I know it's not far, but mm -hmm. I know they had a good time. So yeah. because we don't, 
we just don't get snow. I remember one point in time we were sitting out in a hot tub and it was snowing on us. Oh, so it's just like funny. stuff we don't get here. Mm -hmm. Like I'm sure people are watching this going like that happens to me every day, but mm -hmm. you know, it's just not something we have. Yeah. So we're either possibly, I said, what if we go to Colorado? That'd be nice. Or or I was going to suggest like Breckenridge or something. That's yeah. Really nice. Or go to mm -hmm. Disney because we haven't done Disney. And then he, he was looking last night that we could rent a house. Um, and then... Are they open, like, with restrictions at Disney, or? Yeah, I think Which so. Which actually might be good, because if the capacity is only yeah. like 50% or, you know, whatever it is, it would mm -hmm. reduce the lines. Yeah, and if you, guys would. Have any Florida, would. Mm -hmm. if you guys have any Florida trips, because I think we might be leaning towards that, um, let me know in the comments below. Um, we love sure, yeah. reading your comments. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting mm -hmm. you. And I'm trying to think of what else. Yeah, those are our... So far, two options. We'll see. Because my kids have never really flown either. So mm. it'll be a big that adventure be, for them. Mm -hmm. That would be. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. mm. Well, sorry it took us so long to podcast again. Um, but we're back. Life. 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 If you're returning. Holidays, life. Mm -hmm. If you're returning viewers. Weather. Thanks yeah, coming thanks back. For coming. <laughs> thanks for checking us out. And congratulations, Jennifer. Mm-hmm. Yes, we'll get that and to we'll, you soon. And if you guys want to do another cal or something, like comment, like mm -hmm. Melissa says, and we'll put something together. So yeah, let us know um, what you guys are working on. Mm -hmm. uh, we like to see it. See and it. we usually, you know, we always need distractions. <laughs> Squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> the title should be squirrels everywhere. <laughs> squirrels everywhere. That's probably what it will be. Look, squirrel. So. All right, you guys have a good one. Yes. Happy New Year. Yes, and thanks for watching and hanging out with us. Yes. Happy so, knitting. Happy, happy knitting. Bye-bye.